Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be inserting data from our custom field over here, which is the car price. We're going to be inserting any input from here into our database. So previously we created this table over here, the e-commerce car details. You can check the tutorial down below if you want to create uh, tables automatically in WordPress. Okay, so let's go back to our sublime editor. So from here, I'm going to go to the CF which is custom field. So from here we created our custom fields. So I'm going to scroll down over here and I'm going to check the input. So basically this is the input, the text input, this one over here. So I'm going to be creating uh, a new value over here, over here, the name, I'm going to be creating price. So just to specialize or to identify this type of input. Okay. So down below over here, we're going to be creating a new function. So function, let's call it save custom fields like this parenthesis open that like this one go down so i'm going to be creating a variable so let's call it price over here and let's make it equal to the post post like this and let's add the brackets and inside the brackets we're going to be putting the name of this one this one over here let's put it inside these like this excellent so now let's close that variable so this one's going to be checking if uh, there is an input. If there is an input over here in our price input, it's going to be assigned to the price. Okay, so over here, uh, let's go down and let's include our uh, WordPress uh, database. So again, I'm going to start with the global, global WPDP, WordPress, the uh, database. And over here, let's create, let's create the insert function. So dollar sign WPDP again and like this in search in search and let's open the parentheses and also at the end i must close it let's go down so the first one's going to be the name of uh, the database table so basically uh we pay db prefix prefix point and let's open that like this one and i think it's e-commerce dash car dash uh details we can check that. Let's go back over here to our uh, PHP my admin and let's check. So as I said in, pre in previously, so this web pay uh, dash it's gonna be taken care of by the prefix. So all we have to do is to just write the the name of the table, which is the e-commerce e-commerce car details. Let's check. Excellent. Okay, so from here the second parameter, actually it's not semicolon, just colon over here. The second parameter is gonna be an array. So an array is gonna be inserting. Let's check over here. So the first one is gonna be the car ID. Gonna create car dash ID. It must be inside the quotation marks like that. And let's make it assign it to something. Let's make it, for example, ten. Just a test. Column, uh, comma, and let's go down over here and let's set price. And let's make it equal to our price over here. Excellent. So let's hit save. All we have to do is to just set the primary key, which is the car ID, and also the price. Just a test over here. So we need to assign that just like that. Okay, so next, the next thing to do is to uh, activate or to execute this function. So basically, we want to execute this function once we hit over here, once we hit update or publish. So let me show you the hook that we're going to be using. So add action. First one's gonna be save post. So save post like this. And in the second parameter, we're gonna be uh, activating or are gonna be using this function over here. Let's put it inside the quotation marks again like that. And let's let's close with the semicolon add action. Okay, I think we're all set. All right, so let's give it a try. So I'm going to go back over here and let's uh, write some price. Let's call it, for example, or I like this number, 74.99. Okay, so let's hit update and let's check our database. So let's check over here. So we're having the car ID, which is 10, but over here we have a problem. So let's check what seems to be the problem. So over here, price, yep. Yes, I forgot something really important, which is include inside the save custom field function. We need to include the post ID. So over here, let's post ID like this. So this step is really important. So let's hit save and let's go back and let's do another refresh. Also, I'm going to just delete this row over here and let's create 
74.99 so let's hit update and let's check our table over here excellent so now we have it it's uh, rounded to 75 which is not a problem i can fix that later on but now as you can see it's working just fine so the next step that i would like to do is to retrieve it once you hit refresh over here i want to be able to see that value over here so let's do that i'm gonna go back over here to my code yes and the first thing to do is over here i want to retrieve that value so let's put a php tag again php and let's create a variable let's call it car price car price and yeah, let's make it equal to so basically let's use this variable to retrieve that uh, price from the database so over here uh, let's include the webpdb prefix not the prefix but just uh, the wordpress database and over here let's get get var var variable get the variable from database so let's open the parentheses like this one and the first one uh, let's uh, open the quotation marks like this one. The first one's gonna be select select and what we want to select let me check my database i want to be selecting the price you can see it over here but over here i want you to be using uh let me show you that one but for me i want you to be using this uh this symbol this one over here it's like it's uh, like the quotation mark but it's rotated i want you to keep attention to this this one this difference let me, let me try to speed up or to zoom in you can see that it's different so when when dealing with the MySQL, we want to use this this one so we want to select the price the price over here so you want to select the the price from from the database so let's create over here the database variable so we can create db and we're going to be calling it wp prefix wp db prefix like this one and let's include the name of our uh, database which is e-commerce car details excellent so let's close that and let's include it from here so basically we're selecting price from this database from this one from over here but this one has to be inside the quotation marks again all right I, I don't think we need that quotation marks in here because it's not a string it's a variable okay select price from database and we can add more conditions but for now let's just see if this one's going to be working or not so i'm going to just save and let's put for example echo car price car price let's see if it's going to be working or not without any conditions so let's do refresh yes we're having some problems let's see uh got get var on nil includes yes i think uh this method will not gonna work car price uh this one but also let's include over here the global webpdb global webpdb global wordpress database to refresh excellent so now it's working so we have the 75 over there okay so it's working but we need to add the condition because uh, imagine if we were having over here multiple uh, lines multiple uh, pricing so we need to select the price over here based on this car id so if the car id equals to 10 select this one but before that we need to go way back over here let me show you so so far we're just using an example i want to use the real i want to be able to use the real post id so for that i'm gonna just include it over here so let's create id over here let's call it car id to make it unique and over here we can call the function get the id the id let's close the parentheses semicolon okay so the car id is to get the id so basically this one's gonna be taking the id of that post so i'm gonna just copy this one and paste it over here instead of that excellent also for the title so as you can see we have in uh, over here the title let me show you that the title over here so we can use another function which is get the title so over here we can call car title equal to get the title like this so let's add some space in over here all right excellent so from here let's uh for the second one it's gonna be the title so for the title let's put this one the car title let's not forget the comma 
and let's go back over here and just delete this row over here delete it hit save over here hit save and to refresh refresh over here let's insert some something one two three hit update and let's see if it's gonna be working or not excellent so the car id is 27 the title of it is bmw m5 and the price of it is one two three over here uh, yes it's echoed over here but let's go back over here and i'm gonna go all the way back and instead of uh, i'm gonna be adding a value over here so let me sh show you that so the value so basically this value is going to be uh let's make an example here just to show you that value over here you can see it here it's inside this input so instead of having this here i'm gonna i'm gonna just put this value so let's do that open php tag php and let's close it and inside it let's echo car price car price i'm gonna echo it right over here can just delete it save let's do refresh it's gonna vanish from there and basically we're having it inside our car price but also i would like to show you something really important so now we're not able to update our pricing so i want to be able to do that so over here i'm gonna go way down so instead of insert i want to do update yes i just want to update the price the price only price and when using the updates function we need to uh, to specify which row to update so i'm going to add come over here and let's add a new array and inside that array i'm going to be including uh, the id so car id i'm going to explain in just a second so over here i'm going to just put the car id like this okay so basically i'm telling wordpress to update this row over here the price based on this car id so it's gonna check what that's gonna go over here and gonna check price okay and let's check the car id so if it's matching it's gonna ch be changing this price so let's do an update so over here i'm gonna call it 50 or 49.99 let's do our update it's 50 excellent can make it 85 update yeah now it's, it seems to be working just from nowhere it makes no sense let's just remove this one i think because just we didn't do an update over here yes i see that so over here, let's make it 79 update hmm excellent okay so from here let's just go back and just remove this one i'm gonna just remove it like now everything seems to be working just fine excellent okay so that's it for this tutorial so we, we learned how to insert data from here to the database over here along with the title and also the car id so in the next comment tutorial i'm going to continue working on our plugin if you have any questions let me know thanks a lot for watching i'm going to see you in the next comment tutorial take care